Warfer. Warfer, you gotta know. Okay, we're back. Um, I did do a little bit of hunting here, there, and everywhere to um, try to get some of that shit done and get more pouches and stuff. Because hunting is fun, but I don't really think it's the best thing to do constantly on stream. Just majorly. <laughs> um. Oh, so, of course, I stopped when my um, game crashed as par for the course. The horse. I hate when it's better for a game to, um... So I got one. I think I need one more. And the camp's right there. So let's see if we can find one right here real quick. This is a boar spawning area. Uh, boars uh, naturally spawn here. Uh, as all animals uh, do. As God puts them on the earth. Amen. Oh, jokes aside, Arthur drew a picture of a boar on the map here. So <laughs> that means there are boars. I.e. the dead one that was right there. Um, I'm also working on getting some of the challenges done, just so that we can have those bonuses and not have to constantly, like, <laughs> so I don't have to sit on stream going, okay, here I go riding from one town to the other. Ironically, that's one of the ones I haven't done, but you know. I think there's the deer all the way out there. I was not quite sure I'm supposed to rob townspeople with that means like. I guess that means people in town. So. That's what you pain in the ass to do. But, uh. That's what pick like a town, do it there. I don't really know which one would be best to do that in. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I find the last berry to eat. My berry boy. Those are trying to find random shit. I think it's like, right, so like, um, obviously there are a lot of collectibles in this game. Between the dream catchers, the treasures. I don't worry, I haven't been doing the treasures off. I can... As the arrows kind of skitter off somewhere. Oh, cut! Fuck you. Yeah, sometimes the arrows like skitter off somewhere. So, like, when you don't hit the arrow into the creature, it kind of slides for some reason. And I don't really know what the easiest way to find them is. So, I end up losing. Arrows here, there, and everywhere. This isn't like, you know, like Kingdom Come, right? Because, you know, that's a game I've really played. Uh, I guess, you know, Skyrim. I don't really remember Skyrim's arrow mechanics, though. I don't really think I used the bow much when we played Skyrim. I think I did, but I didn't. But, um, the arrows in Kingdom Come would, uh, stick into the ground. So they became fairly easy to find afterwards. If you well, actually no, don't no no that, that's very wrong. The arrows were fairly difficult to find. Fucking horse, the arrows were very difficult to find after the initial uh, launch, unless I physically watch where they land. These ones, even though I'm watching where they land, they um they don't stick into the ground. They just kind of slide away, which is kind of annoying. Can I not unzoom? I guess this is the only zoom gun. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna find that boar. Probably need one more and then I'm done with that, but.
Get away from You son of a bitch. Again. There we go. And I think that goes my last of my arrows for the uh, small gun. I, th I thought I hit it in the head. I feel like a snake really wouldn't take that many arrows. But uh, whatever, I guess. Uh, one last quick check around things. We'll just take it back to camp and do Dutch's quest. We can do a bit more hunting after we just call, like a quest or two. I think actually there was a um. No, we'll do Dutch's thing first, I guess. Cause I thought that there was a another random quest around here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. I guess I'm just not traveling far enough away. Okay. Ah! One horse. We blow on this popsicle stand. Going straight to Dutch. Did I eat the gin or? Be a little bit tipsy. Feels like the camera's swaying a little bit. Yeah, I like it. I'm just playing like a um, no losing hat run. I'm hitching my horse up, buddy. Lenny. Yeah, like, if you, like, lost your hat, you had to restart the game or something. Kind of like a Dark Souls No Death Run or something, like, you know. To that effect. I feel like that'd be a lot more difficult, though. Especially if, like, you were in the middle of a mission or something. From you in a while, Mr. Morgan. That's a lie. You know it, Pearson. <laughs> That's a lie. You know it, Pearson. Oh, yes. I'll be able to make you something out of this. Yes, I think, um, How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? We need, like, what? A badger pelt, a, a panther pelt, a bison pelt. Um, and this needs to be craft everything else. Craft three recipes at scout fire. Craft three recipes at the scout fire. Oh, probably should do that then. I can probably do that really quickly. Uh,. Ox hides, alligator skull. We can get an alligator fairly easy. I think we're kind of near the alligators. We can also go for the legendary Thanks, one. But, um. Is this the scout fire? What's going on over there? You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Marks. I like question marks. I don't know. I've what? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. How so? 
I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Have I been? That's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I, I mean, I know. Okay. I just, well, you know me. Sure. I know you. Then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Look out, Arthur. Well, don't mind me, Tilly. Mark Dunn is a witch. How you doing, old friend? Uh, it's funny. Us in and out down here. My daddy died in the field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Boring? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, the world don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. Can you get quiet for some reason? It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Did he stop at fit? Reckon full of fit. I think it's like weird, kind of like metallic sheen on his horse. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. Oh. Curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Is this, is this More Jose? Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, Hatch. not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. Oh, okay. See what turns <laughs> up. Not robbing That's roads. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Of 
horse. Got a cool horse. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I see you've just gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Uh, it's close How are you boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Hoagie McIntosh. Great. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused <laughs> of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. That, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. I got the you fastest horse here. Them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. We ain't losing Will shit. Relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Goddamn towers hiding behind that bass. <laughs> now get after the others. Come on. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can <laughs> jump off? Guy. Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing bombs. Oh, oh, you cop bastards. I didn't do oh. nothing. Oh. I thought they just kind of waiting there. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Stop! Come on, shit bag! Go, get after them! Bastard! I was gonna say, I thought it wasn't that. God. Try it. Look at talking now. <laughs> Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. <laughs> Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? Do you not I recognize him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Fine job. Well done. And a 
Yeah, that, that hair's amazing that it stands on up on the back like that. There you go. You are a natural. Why didn't you grab any of the other three? I feel like at least the one at the station right, would have been fine to pick up. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you running? familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? That sounds terrible. Road, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Thank you, horse. Yeah, you good girl? Here we are. Welcome to Rose. Horse. Up there on your left is the Rose Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train gunsmith. station, of course. What more do you need? Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? How do I drift? I forgot. Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. I can't fucking... This camera is not great for the... Uh... Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur was delivered. Man has a passion for justice. That's one. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. Oh, just a big misunderstanding. I want to thank you from the bottom of my. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. <laughs> McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, these better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses. Falling out. Rebel gold. Marrying cousins. Not marrying. Arthur, that's it, Jose. You start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Well, there's been a price on my. Nothing I haven't paid off already. It'll take months to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Now, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, 
You see what you can find out about these brake plates. All right. Thank you, out there. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Fishing! Sure, why not? I like fishing! Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot? Now there's gonna be a good fish there. Kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Just like <laughs> clean shaven, little mustache, and then fucking full on beard boy. Horse! <laughs> God, I'm trying to jump on it as it's going by. Horse, what are you doing to me? Embarrassing me in public. That beard is getting big. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Okay. Cologne is like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. That tree up Don't there. even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you Mr. Doing? Vandalin, he said, I, I could ask you the same thing. thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, the, uh, the mimicry is Hey, maybe there are point. actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. The Trelawney hive mind. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Easy. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Those the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Oh, watch. Okay, guys, I got this. Oh. I'm sure nobody would mind if we bought one of these. Come on. <laughs> guys, I got a fish. <laughs> Guys, we want a fish. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. <laughs> okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I got this one that good. This is in the lake. Cut the gong. 
It was a big fish, though. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Hmm. That ore went through that rock. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Pretty good water. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something. And big, like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Space Keep the lure fish. moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Oh. I understand now. The old space. You got a bite. I think that's a bite. There, hooked him. Come on, Arthur. You can't go back empty handed. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Arthur's got a bite. I keep getting bites, but... Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. God damn it, guys. Arthur, you have to catch one at least. This uh, lure thing is not that easy. Let it hit there. I gotta sit here and hold this. That feels right. like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Shit! Got away. Got a bite. There we go. Ah, should have had that one. Ooh, it's a bass. <laughs> Look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Well, it told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see. Oh, that, that fish. Hey, Jose, remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with. Three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember. Yeah, like, this is like a really quick, like. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out. So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. Look at the sturgeon there. One day. We were river Ooh, it's a salmon. When we see a funeral procession, look at these fish just here. Out of the blue, 
Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Him. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. I'll take a strong, okay, I have to wait for a big bite. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kafka went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, yeah, it's the spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, not to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low Look at the fucking sturgeon just surging the boat. Sir. I liked it there. Still open and wild. The way is, it, is it good? Is it bad? I can't tell. The desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. That I wasn't snake. always a very obedient child. A snake on the wall. Can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Nice, you hooked it. You guys caught anything yet? I mean, like the you know. I want one of these big sturgeon. I wonder how to get what, what, like they're circling the boat here, but nicely done, Arthur. Got one. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. What? I want that. Give me that. Look at it. Sitting there taunting me. You pulling an Hosea? Oh, there you go. That is tiny. Are you bored already, Arthur? I get a snake. Something biting, Arthur. Not reeling in, Arthur. God, fishing never put like this much of a shore fight whenever I went fishing in real life. Good job, Arthur. No. If you drag it up, it... Keeping that one, eh? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Yeah, I think we got a conversation we had, here. so, you know. Pearson will be happy. Can we head back? We could keep the boat, not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. 
Three minutes up. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the sea. We <laughs> spend <laughs> our lives in jeopardy <laughs> while others live at ease. It's basically stuck in the street, screaming. Round and round and round, shall we go dance this round and round and round? Trader is a bully boy, come with me on this round and round and round. We men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, okay, come let me like, on this round no. I think faster tap is going to be faster. Not let the folks bet. Yeah. Think that we can make too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I. Well, I mean, we. Are gonna be okay. I know. Oh. I always know, whenever I got you two by my side, things you gonna be just you. fine. Because that means one of us is gonna die, and everything's gonna go very this south in there. This be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I'm going to take in of you. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Let's try this or anything. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. No, you're in the money. Let's try some little vampire mouth. How right are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already? I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. What do you Mario? mean? I fucking donate so much Come food! Come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in roads. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> I feel like the question how many should be reserved for three or more. Not just the uh, two. Um, I want to get out of the fucking camp. I don't want to go fishing with Javier, to be honest. Don't even see you. I do want to go to the uh, scout camp and craft some shit just so that's, you know, done and all. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. What you do with your head? <laughs> well, I guess. Here, 
got a hold of the harmonica for you. I'm just standing up. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. I don't know where I got a harmonica from. Okay. Uh, am I landing in here? A quest that I'm landing over there. Um, let us. I wish I could like pull up the mouse from there. No, we're full up. No, no, we don't have time. Good. Okay, we're full. Um, bands. You probably should donate some. That's because I want to get a regular alligator, and I know there's a legendary alligator. But it's not showing up in the map. There's a legendary gator, though. Huh. If coyote's there, because we did the, um, we did the coyote. I could have sworn it was in your alligator. Well, in theory, right, since Coyote's there, there should be one somewhere around, like... Oh, no, we did. We did both. And there's probably a boar somewhere around here-ish. Okay, well... I guess let's go get us an alligator. Check out the base shop over there. The uh, he stopped. I just wonder if, like, if I do it with him, is it going to be something special? That sounds weird. Okay. I'm trying because there's um there's the craft through things in the scout campfire. I just want to get that done so I fucking have it. You know. I need to go fucking running around the entire map every fucking. Second. One hot second. <sighs> okay. That should hopefully fix the issue. But as I know, it won't. So, you know. Just a terrible fucking view of this. Anybody see that guy? The guy on the right just float down from fucking the sky?
I can always make you a new set. Right on space. Bison, panther, badger. Iguana skin. Oh, fuck it, we got half the shit from. And I think we need. I think it's a uh, John's tent needs one more um, boar. Yeah. Thought me some kind of god. Wow. You know, you think, right, having guards out would be a good idea, but having them constantly yell about who's coming next. What? Oh, they want to rob a house now. Eh, we'll do it. What now, buddy? You shoot a prisoner in a cage? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him about what you did. Two and a one. What are you guys statue for? Ah, oh, fuck. Where he's going? Fucking That it?
Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Now we can go get that shit from the stuff and go talk to uh, the other guy. That's the horse's ass is stained with blood. Uh, wasn't there a uh? Wait a second, what happens to the other guy's mission? The other guy had a mission. Yeah. Okay. Rip that, I guess. So we need to figure out where we get a, a, a badger, an ox, uh, probably a moose. I think we need a moose. Yeah. Go for a moose. Improved arrow. I just need arrows. Guys. Okay, I'm gonna get more fight fighters. It's fine. Yep. We do need the Russell suit. I didn't expect 20 people to jump out of there. I was kind of just gonna ride straight on through, maybe shoot a couple shots back. Yeah, there goes the perfect uh, boar pelt. You know? Fuck me. to Abernathy, because uh, I thought the other guy had a mission somewhere, and I was just gone. Yeah. I think we need to make special bait for the uh, legendary fish. That was a turn. We have a couple of treasure maps as well that we could uh, look into. I don't know where any of them are. One of them's like uh, we need three geysers and a baseball formation, a baseball diamond. There's possums. This is kind of, kind of funny that, you know, this game mixes um, real life places with fake places so easily. 
Oh yes, the Florida Cracker Cow. Along with, you know... Damn it. It did go down. Good. Hold up. Oh, wait. Last time I tried to help somebody who was fucking crying, I got robbed. actually murdered what eggs who's crying It, to me, it feels like it's the gator, because I just keep seeing the gator's mouth open. That looks horrendous. Okay, well, we're going to take one gator back, I guess. <laughs> I like how its head's folded in there. Ass shit is this? I'm not gonna hurt you. I fucking knew it. That guy's probably thrusting. So fuck, like they're weirdly white and they got nothing on them but predator bait. A bat carcass. That's a woman. Shit, a silver tooth. Yeah. There goes my horse. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, easy now. The gators don't really seem to move all that much. Easy.
welcome to my shop. Please, come look around. I have a fresh supply of crawfish bait. You won't find better nowhere. Hmm. Done deal. Dude, is he having to find one? Oh, he's back. Let's do, let's do missions real quick and then we'll run back to the the place drop this shit off. I was not anywhere near you, man. Big old fucking cry, baby. I thought the game was gonna go this way. That was an accident. He fucking like who who backs up like that? You're okay, girl. Like you see me going around behind you. You back up into it. It's your fault. Fuck you. Accept responsibility for that idiot's fucking mistake. I need to figure out if I can like, craft a special tomahawk or something to uh, get, get like kill a guy with 80, over 80 feet with a tomahawk or something like that. A, how do I judge that? B, you know, what counts as an enemy? Anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. Hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this <laughs> boat out? And I'll protect you. Come on. Get in the boat. He'll be fine. Oh, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Not the boat should not. The ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right then. Um oh, oh, I saw movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Pull into the northwest there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. Oh, that little beach. Wars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Uh... It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! Close.
closer now. Closer. We caught him. He's in the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature. In all its glory. I mean, honestly, it would be cool fucking nature. Cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. How are you getting there this information? A company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chucked up the waterways and turned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now why didn't we think of that? It's closer. Right. Right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Yeah, I mean, there. I can see it sitting right there. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Excellent. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet. 19 feet. 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. Ain't shame to this rolling fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Maybe I, don't know why I want this, this monster stuff in on this place. I don't like this. Not one bit. No, 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 no. I hope you're slow. Quick! Jump in the boat! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I do without you, sir. I really don't. <laughs> like I'm not getting the cold of that thing. On a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Like I want to keep my pelts, anyway, thank you. I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, sure. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We <laughs> hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. I wonder how much like they paid the voice actor. Ah yes, Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I. Feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh I thought I was an many asshole. an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. I could have sworn there was like a legendary alligator. Or like something requiring an alligator, maybe. 
stop buying roads, kick up that, and then uh, head back into uh, yeah. drop off these pelts. Hey. Oh, fucking forced to just chuck me there. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I'd be eaten. Some birds. Unknown animal. So mysterious. It's funny because, you know, I've been in the Everglades and I've heard these, like, noises and it's pretty on point. I do have to stop and ask what the fuck's up with this town. Try to take out and draw something. Oh, a picture of a cow! Look at that! <laughs> Look at the cow! Here's that empty town I found. Sure, really look at the diary. There's probably like pages upon pages of stuff that Arthur has written. Pleasance. Plague? Hey, tell me this is not... Wow. That fucking stupid little lock kept me out. It's like, it'd be funny, right, if all these doors I've done that to have been just pull doors, you know? Every door Arthur can't get through, just a pull door. All you do is grab the door and pull. is dodging. Have these shots are just blind though. I will admit. Ill with sin. Nothing here. Ah, hey, okay. here we go. Come on, just like a fucking can of beans. Something. Oh. Okay. Is that a tiny table? Anything in the... I thought maybe if there was any point, point where there would be something hidden. The fucking fireplace would be a good place to check. Because there's apparently lots of hidden fireplace in this game. Alright, well. 
in theory, as long as they didn't buy this practice. Jolly Jack's cigarettes. Ah, oh, it's the fountain pen. Ah, the fountain pen. Okay. I guess getting the thing for John was pretty good. Not the best, but it'll do. Flat feathers. Feathers for flying, you see. Yeah, my arrows ain't got enough feathers on them already. Oh, I need to add new up. ones. Better ones, I guess. was weird. Here we're a pig man and um, kind of pig died. Oh, over here is this. Come on. Random bridge. Is there a corpse on the map? No. So I'm trying to see if like, you know, the murderer his map chunks. Peace. Whoa. Right place one of those. Yeah. Big, big fucking. Big bridge. Not too many fucking people. It's already that earlier, isn't it? Look at all the people. to uh, activate smell of vision and see if I can possibly find any uh <sighs> find any things you know? I wonder if this guy's got invisible stand too hello sir glad to have a new patron come through Yeah, it's, uh, sorry, I immediately went after the, the deer when I saw that that's what, uh... Oh, I already have it. <laughs> I've already got the BB2 trigger, I'm thinking. Right? Because it doesn't have a price. That makes sense. I don't know why I was, like, I'm just convinced that... Welcome, mister. First time in my shop. That wasn't, Don't uh... bother with Alvin's shop there. Thanks, mister. Quite right. 
some bad things. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? How much are we talking about? A buck? I can do a dollar. Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. Should check on that, um... Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them... them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. And they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was... reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Should, uh, see that the uh, veterans news not museum but you know house is open Let's bring all these fucking cobbled old men never gonna get the hang of this we'll be friends each other when Hughes start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss I, I don't I, I, I need more time doesn't everybody that casket for you you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I, I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing. So he's just whining a bitch. Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. Digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. You're digging it up, boy. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. Haha, <laughs> I know that term from Graveyard Keeper. I think I knew the term Exhum before that, but that's not the point. Is my own church closed? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time to. The place was in need of some care and attention.
<laughs> hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you. <laughs> <laughs> This whole dug. Mmm. Guy, I got a couple of extra bodies for it. He's just bailed. All right. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? But she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Get out of here, or someone see. Yep. Okay. Back to where's the why is the whole area marked in white? Oh, because there's no guns. Yeah, makes sense. Finest of bones, cigarettes, smokes, Jack Hall gang, Poisons gang, Finding Rock Carvers, we got him a crime novel, or no, we got him a book. We, asked, we got him the harmonica, I don't know why. Some of these items are still showing up when they are clearly done. Uh, why can't I? Da 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 da. I find it weird, right? So that shows up on the uh, stream, the friends notifications. It's kind of weird to me because I'm game capturing, so that I guess insinuates that it's part of the game. I guess it's because the Steam overlay makes it a part of the the, uh, the game's image. Yeah, sounds like it makes sense. Way. Arthur, you're gonna get my All right, don't price. get all worked. Oh, hey, Arthur. I left something for you guys here. Good. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Here. I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it in your cab. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Somebody, a chocolate bar. I wish. <laughs> where'd you find a chocolate bar, boy?
Why'd you put some of that bad blood behind you? Wait. They need more than one out. Maybe more than one alligator car, because I'm going to be kind of upset. Because, you know. Uh, here's mine. Here we go. A very nice addition, I think. Did that already? That's gotten ch uh, one skull that was required. Put a snakeskin banjo, wolf pelt, cowhide. I need one of those, which is pretty fine. I can get one. I guess we'll see if anyone notices. Wait, you guys bitched me for bringing my fucking horse into camp, but look at fucking Kieran over here. Maintain a view of my guns. Probably uh, drop off the thing. Yep, very specific. Very uh. Hi, cow hope. Why did it say? It never even say what he said. It's you. That was funny how the uh, the items kind of went over the top. Then I have like five double. There we go. question is right, so the ledger had an option to buy a boat. And as much as I would love to buy a boat, like, it's kind of silly that you would buy a boat when you already have a boat now, but whatever. You could buy the boat. You could also buy the... Let us buy the next in line because we get the. Uh... the map so we can do fast travel. We have 300 bucks, but we can do it. Let's do the house robbering, robbery, corroborating. Little Sean Bean. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit. It ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside. Fuckers! I, up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fellow he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, he'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Come on, like. sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. 
Well, like, you know, he's talking about Arthur's fucking this, that, or the other, right? I don't feel like Arthur really cares much about his heritage. Not to mention, who knows how fucking far out he is from being, like, mainland England or whoever, whoever Arthur's from. I'm guessing just Anglo-Saxon, right? He's a wasp. Not the point. Um, you know, because I... How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. I don't know. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. I mean, it's not like him who's got the Irish accent, right? Whereas Arthur, I mean, A.S. England. Because uh, it's not British. He's not British, he's a British accent, right? He's got the uh, typical cowboy American. Cowboy American. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. Nobody but me does. Back there, sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story Easy. right. Easy. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, I use it to upgrade my tent. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy his tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Hey, yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? Look out. You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater, too, didn't you? Chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time. About all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. I was safe, that's the, uh... All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. I think one of those treasure, tre treasure um, things up where the moose is, the other ones up where the um, bison was. I want them to hear us coming. You know what? I'm fine with this. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed them. Hope you know what you're doing. So where, boy? Look, there's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking, and you hang back. Hey, 
there. Oh. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know I think I'm the alarm and edit this way. They were just no coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Here come Parker. Here comes the rest of them. Where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on the sunshine here. That's not hard. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. Don't look back. Some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go get so far by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Yet. Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Um, no, Who's bored in the bedroom? Hey, it's over there. Forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. See you back at camp. Oh, look at that fireplace. It's like a double fireplace. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. First one, so cheese. What's wrong with me? The guy, it's weird. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't get any of my time watch back. <clears throat> okay, okay. There's a thing here. That's another like, you know, dollar. Come on, girl. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna kill six animals with one gun.
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ruined. ruined. How so? It's a disaster. He's British, Who of course. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals? Who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. Daddy. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. <laughs> what? My animals, they escaped. And now Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot what myself. Escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. <laughs> and a magnificent lion. From the grasslands of Tangany. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard's Salt. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam? It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. <laughs> mm. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress of fucking danger. He's British, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Mistress of yeah. fucking danger. Uh, I like I, I can't is his name actually Margaret was that his name before or after he chose to take the stage light One more. No, oh, the gun reloaded. Motherfucker. I need their flying feathers, so. one
to... Let's th th off the birds, I guess. Three. Right. Four. Why does why do I go back to one? Why am I back at fourteen bullets? Okay. Let's reload. All right, now back at zero. One. I can't, I, I, three, right? It's not back to zero, is it? Just before I start fucking streaming. I wonder if it's like... No, this is reloading your gun. So I would assume it means as many shots as it takes as long as the gun has ammo in it. Reload. Does the fucking does? Okay, I think, I think enabling the um, dead eye reloads the gun. That's my only explanation for this. horses over there. <laughs> we can focus on our karma after we get the super fucking challenge done. Three more. God. 
if I fucking realized earlier that using the dead eye apparently reloads the gun. I'm already just get the karma hit and shoot the fucking horse. Shooting at me for? You know what birds that I killed that I can fucking get the uh, feathers off of? It's just like a fucking wave of destruction. Any more uh, tomahawks left? I got two still. Shut up, possum. Fox in here. Fox should be uh, yeah, three skies. <laughs> Just hold on. I'm supposed to kill with the fucking rifle. <clears throat> okay. I think we were going to do something before we started going on a rampage. <laughs> Should find somewhere high to just sit and, um. I just go up to the part where the fucking the uh the goddamn moose lives. It's quite I mean, it's an area I've never been to, so in theory there yep. should be something there I haven't eaten. He's faster than your fucking horse. Horse! That's the word. In Hanover. H. H in Hanover.
assuming you need the rifle. Just want to get one because, you know, I'm not going to come back over here for a while. Probably. Don't make two trips. Why did... Why it wasn't a band? It was right there. was alerted. My ass law was alerted. They don't know who it was or where I am. I wonder, I wonder, it said shoot six animals, right? To say, like, if it, if it just said kill six animals, could you count, run them over with that count? ones that I still don't even have a beginning set of. I'm surprised I have so few of them. I feel like I picked up a lot more, you know? Yep. Come on. call him that. Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing a point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Be a lord of the stage. Okay, Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassuing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there 
taken the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane, into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga <laughs> Way. In case you could lend a paw. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. Question is. Do I want to quickly run over to Hanley here? Yeah, let's do that. Because I want to get that bicep before I forget where it is. And it didn't mark on the map, so when I'm looking around later to try to figure out where they are, it's not going to tell me. I thought I hit jump, and he jumped, and since I was right enough in the arc that, um, I, uh, hit my stupid fucking face. Um, well, of course, legs, not my stupid fucking face, but, you know, well, I hit my face in the ground, and I'm like, it's true. Cowboys eating beans. Tracking, even if I don't actually do any tracking.
ir. Save the zone right there. <sighs> that guy. No, let me switch the horses. Is he going to peer over the ridge again? Just in case. I don't know how I was going to ask. Very loud. Those guys. Is that the um? No. Say so is that base ridge? But it doesn't look like it. Disturbing the peace. Yeah, I guess blowing some guy's brains out is disturbing the peace. You know, <laughs> the piece of his fucking brain skull. Pieces of his brain skull. Brain skull? Both? Neither? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. So, because Arthur has moral quandaries about killing a bunch of animals, as well as, um... About killing a bunch of animals, as well as, um, people. Is he both aware of the player's actions, because he's like, I don't know why I'm doing this, and not aware of the counts and stuff? Because, like, I guess he's doing the stuff, right? And he's talking about he doesn't know why he's doing it. So, he's aware that something's making him do this stuff, but he can't figure out what and why. <laughs> Didn't we need, like, a songbird or something? I feel like I'm also still like, you know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Kingdom Come, where, um, A, fucking hit the trees constantly falling off, but, uh, I mean, along the lines of, um, they didn't get reported by me, did it? No, good. Um, wherein, you kind of want to avoid the roads, purely because they get, like, you know. So, um, I, I've been playing Kingdom Come Deliverance in the uh, hardcore mode we did on the stream. The regular mode, I've been playing hardcore mode myself, because honestly, I'm not good streaming content. I don't play it in large, large bursts, because I end up getting very angry very quickly. Why is everybody so upset all the time? Um... I, mean, I don't play it in like long batches because you end up dying to something stupid. Because the hardcore, yeah. very difficult. You don't get the um. So normally when you you play Kingdom Come Deliverance, yeah. right? You get the uh. You get the what's the one for? Um, when you're when you're fighting, right? There's a little radial that pops up that shows you where you're swinging.
Get out of here, boys. Yeah. <coughs> Let's go. Okay. Yeah, no, so I'm going to the raid duel, and you can't see yep. your health bar, you can't see your stamina, and I think stuff breaks more easily, the enemy does more damage, and there's also, um, so there's an achievement, right? So, when you play hardcore, you have the option at the very beginning to take a, um, a couple of negative traits, right? So, like, some of them are like, you know, for a couple hours after you wake up, you'll have uh, a big malice to your stats, and, um, you don't like having your, like, you're claustrophobic, so when your helmet visor is down during combat, you do less damage, which, you know, incentivizes you to wear lighter armor. Um, uh, food's not good or something like that, I don't remember. The point is, is um, like, you run out of food faster, and you're dumber as you learn slower, and XP more, you know, that kind of stuff. Right, so um, you know, I play. I play with all of them, of course, because when you play with all of them, you uh, fucking end up with an achievement if you get the hardcore more more finished. But um, morning, it's very difficult, a bit of pain in the ass, and you end up so you die very fucking easily, like one mess up and you're instantly dead, and the game does an auto save. So, you can't, like, save... Oh, you can save the game whenever, but you have to like, do that, and it doesn't save... Good morning. Like, you have to save it with the, um... Potion and stuff, and if you don't save, the autosave doesn't happen, so you have to, like, you know, go back. So, it, first off, saving has become a very common the occurrence for me. But, um... I didn't do it. I heard that. Look at the quality on this. Should fetch a good price. Space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan. Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. Was that you? Me? No, thank you. Need more deer. We need more deer. Three more deers. Another perfect boar. Four more deers. I just keep getting deers, really. Uh, I didn't need another bison thing, did I? Just, I'm not going back there right now, but... No, that's good. Chuck wagon, good. Campfire. Moose. Beaver fox. Eh, two wolf pellets. A cow hide. And this needs a couple goat hides. Okay. So you need one more bison, but, um... No, we don't. Me more deer. That's fine. We'll get deer eventually. Um. <coughs> Are you well? You know, I don't think I've been that stew in days. Morning, Arthur. But um, yeah very difficult, but, uh, you end up avoiding the road a lot because, you know, when you're on the road, certain, uh, events happen, right? So, like, the bandits and, you know, different shit that if you end up dying to, it really sucks dick. So, you know. Ends up with me avoiding the road a lot because if I can go through the forest, um, there's no real harm. 
Like, sure, I don't get to meet some of the random people, but I don't run into, like, giant, you know, groups of humans trying to murder Lyrtle my ass. You know? Yeah. I mean, I also, just, you know, because I'm not... I, I am kind of stupid. I have been forgetting so far. Why am I currently unable to manually save? Not blessed. Hey! Maybe because of the, um... What's happening? I don't fucking know. I also met the paleontologist woman. She just, you know, talked about finding dinosaur fossils and called them a bunch of pigs and stuff. I don't remember. Not important. Um, she just wanted me to mail her the fossil locations for money. Money. Um... I was going orange. I just want to take a chance to look at where those uh, treasure treasures might be. I feel like one of them looks kind of like the um. <laughs> did I get blood in the pool? I did. Look at that quality. Um. Yep. I feel like one of them might be the place where we like had that fucking issue with the bison. Still wanted to craft some stuff. I yeah, but you know, you end up going below the bird lot, so you don't have to run into those uh, bandits and stuff. But I mean, like, if you can fight them, yeah, sure, but, um, very near the beginning of the game and well through the middle, you kind of end up with, like, a small amount of health, as well as, like, shitty armor, bad weapons, and if you run into any more than one, possibly two, because, um, I did buy the DLC, which, uh, makes me kind of regret not streaming it, or not, well, I don't know. It seems to be regret not streaming, especially because I haven't played in a while, and, you know, streaming helps me get, keep... Streaming helps me keep uh, playing the game, so they don't like you know put it off and off and off. That's why I like streaming because you know, it girl. keeps me it keeps me playing the game, right? So that I'm not you know starting a game, never finishing it. I say that there are a couple games I have, of course, not finished, but you know I I'm not perfect in any regard of the word. Okay. Like, I don't know. Um. Yeah, you guys are streaming because like uh, I've got the DLC now. Yeah. And I've done a couple of it. And it's it's interesting. It's good. Um. Also doing a lot more of the quests because uh, you need as much skills of every skill you can get. So, you know, I have a lot more sneaking, more uh, thieving, more, you know, everything. Because I need as much, I need as many fucking, you know, pluses as I can get. But, um, it makes it very difficult. And the dog helps, you know, fight multiple people. Because the dog, um, after getting a couple levels with it, will hey, help you, Mister. um... Oh, Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, 
you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? No, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a fellow could never tell. <laughs> no, that was just this way to go. Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. Got it. She must have a lion. Probably should. Got the trail. These are paw prints. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like. Like blood to me. Shit. What's this? How would you paint the lion dog? Oh. Oh, darn. Found your dog. It's dog, it's lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. Here? What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well... Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. But why aren't you oh, that's the female animal? Very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. You didn't Arthur you to put the bolts down. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought. Since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, Horse. I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? I'm just watching the same behind. No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret. We got to talking, and you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope one day to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. 
you think? I hope so. It's Tough noise. to five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't like know that's a commentary. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's a rightful commentary. Gotta zip. <laughs> oh boy. Wish my horse would come along. I thought this thing was gonna try to maul me when I picked up the dog. Dog lion. Let's fucking think going faster. Banter is not very. So you call him Mr. Sure Margaret, did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good. then say Jolly female. Good. You know, tarn and feather and a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her doing I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion or gonna pay me for these misfits look I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material daddy you were right goddamn you but a carbon in road is <laughs> hardly dreary bloody lame you got any word on the lion yes Dude. yes I've got word on the lion shit is the word someone saw him near Emerald Branch as you know we're lately very short on lions so I'd be very grateful all kinds of grateful there's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be so a dear and fix me a gin. Of course, thank you for coming. Of course, because I, I did not want to have to walk all the way back there. We can, I think just go for the last one. I'd probably call it a night. Thank you, game. Rockstar is always good for those kind of social commentaries where they kind of don't really care. You know, they don't really care. <laughs> it's fair enough, you know. Man, oh, the game looks nice though. So I might as well. Oh, that's fucked. Sorry, buddy, but I think you're a two star now, so. Have a nice day! That seems really shitty. Uh, he'll grow from it. Or she'll grow from it. Didn't have any antlers, so. Whoa, easy. Yeah. What's uh, the next sharpshooter thing? Uh, dual sharpshooter challenges. No. One out of seven consecutive headshots. And the animals count as well. Uh, easy, easy. We got a quest right here, and I don't want to spend another ten minutes walking around just shooting animals. Just wait a second, girl. Because you have to find, I'm gonna have to find a big, uh, you know what? That field of uh, deer. 
up north by Strawberry. We can uh, go over there to do a couple things. What I'll probably do is I'll use uh, Arthur's um, or this fast travel wagon, the fast travel to where the bison was. Check over there for the uh, treasure. Uh, if it ain't there, uh, go to. But well, I'll remember next time, hopefully. Probably won't, but... I am holding it. Hold yours. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. Dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said, step aside. I guess I need second thoughts about this. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Doesn't sound like a dog. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. What's that one? Where's my gun? Double barrel seems pretty good for this. I don't think this thing plays nicely. And, uh. I don't have the means to take a lion back to. Listen. This is my double barrel. Skin the fucking thing. Woo, he got it. He shot the thing. Is it dead? I'm afraid I think the garbage. I don't know. I don't think the thing would, you know, just let me cut off its fucking paw. Whoever on that beast got some answering to do. Ooh. Good thing it's not me. Got him. Uh, I don't like the things open right now. Weirdly enough, because you know. I don't see any reason it shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, that was seven consecutive headshots, right? <laughs> All in one animal, but... Yeah, I don't think they're... Ooh! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, I'm a god at riding horses. So good. I should buy a horse in real life. That's, that's how good I am. I just stepped on something. I don't know why, but every once in a while a tree will glitch to get him to become really large. And it just happens in the distance. That's what that is, I'm fairly sure. Because it's happened to a different tree and it would do it, it did it multiple times. 
You see, look, I think it's that one. That one was doing it. I don't know if it's my computer, or if it's the game settings, or if it's just a bug with the game, or some combination of the three. shot, but damn. That's brutal. Just hold on, there, girl. This time the animal was actually real, you moron! Stanley, I clearly stated that we were looking you for- You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> A knew. goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rommel. It was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. And I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So it feels like when you... Mr. Morgan, <laughs> when you pull it, I'll be topping the bill. I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. I like how right, they either didn't have that card hooked up beforehand, or just had no plan for that card anyway. Question mark? Because they just left it behind. I, like even, hey, yeah, look, look, it it needed two horses that aren't here, and there's not a third person to drive it. So, you know, it kind of feels like. This is poorly planning. Either way, uh, if you're watching, do enjoy the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, do like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch, do all that little hopes out. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, probably Graveyard so we can hopefully get closer to wrapping that up because, God, it is such a fucking long game. Uh, yeah. See you then. Bye.